carotid artery disease is blockage of the carotid arteries in your neck. There are two carotid arteries, one on the right side, one on the left side, and they basically provide blood flow to your brain. So if you get a blockage in those arteries, um, it can diminish flow to the brain, but more importantly, debris from those blockages can be uh, dislodged and go to the brain and cause a stroke. The main primary risk factor for carotid artery disease is smoking. You pretty much don't find this disease in people who don't smoke, almost without exception. Other risk factors could include any cardiovascular risk factor, things like high blood pressure, um, heart attacks, uh, cholesterol, stuff like that. You can usually detect carotid artery disease with an ultrasound, which is done for screening purposes in people who have risk factors or people who have had strokes. You can also identify it with CT scans and MRIs and stuff like that. So if uh, carotid stenosis or carotid artery disease is left untreated, over time the narrowing gets uh, more severe and you're more likely to have a stroke and uh, ultimately you can have a stroke and be left with uh, weakness on one side of the body or the other, paralysis, vision changes, difficulty speaking or understanding others, or you could die from the stroke. So medical management of carotid uh, stenosis is risk factor modification, quitting smoking, uh, controlling your blood pressure, controlling your cholesterol, all your cardiovascular risk factors. You also should be on an aspirin, which can prevent you from having a stroke by stabilizing the plaque in your uh, carotid artery. Carotid endarterectomy is a surgery that we do uh, for carotid artery disease. In this procedure, we make an incision along the neck and um, we identify the artery. We get control both proximally and distally in the neck. And then we open up the artery and clean out the disease from the diseased arteries. We then usually close the artery with a patch, um, uh, some material to keep the artery from narrowing. That's the standard operation we've done for years and years for carotid artery disease. Um, it's been well established to prevent stroke um, and it's recommended for people who have severe disease in their necks. You know, over time we've developed other strategies as well and that includes carotid stenting. In carotid stenting we come from the groin usually and we access the artery there and place a catheter into the neck. From that catheter we shoot an angiogram which gives us a picture of the artery from the inside and that identifies the blockage. Once we have that blockage, we put a wire across the blockage and we put a stent in. This is classically done for people um, who were at higher risk for carotid endarterectomy, people with profound heart disease um, and people who perhaps had contralateral blockage on the other side. But there are risks inherent to both of these procedures and that's why we developed the TCAR procedure. The TCAR procedure is one in which we make a small incision in the bottom of your neck, just above your clavicle. And through that small incision, we access the artery. And from that point, that's where we deliver the stent. And this allows us to do a lot of things. It allows us to put what's called flow reversal in. So we actually connect the device to your artery uh, that will take your blood out of your artery and return it to your leg artery, a leg vein. And what this does is it prevents stuff from being dislodged in, from the carotid artery to your brain while we do the procedure. Because this was a major risk for the other procedures I mentioned, is that you can cause a stroke during the procedure. So that flow reversal allows us to prevent debris from going to the brain and causing a stroke. Um, it also allows us to put the stent in under a controlled environment. Um, and it's a very quick procedure because we don't have to navigate through the aorta to get to the carotid arteries. It's this, the blockage is right there. So TCAR has become a good option for people who are at high risk, and that's what it's recommended for primarily. Those people are um, people who have um, bad COPD or difficulties breathing, bad heart problems. If you're over the age of 75, it's a good option for you. Um, and basically anything that puts you at a higher risk for having the carotid endarterectomy. I think all three options are good options for people as long as you have a suitable surgeon. What makes vascular surgeons unique is that we can do all three of these things. We can place a transfemoral stent from your groin, we can do the TCAR procedure from your neck, and we can do the carotid endarterectomy. So we're in a unique position that we can kind of weigh the risks and the benefits of the procedure with each patient and come to a consensus on what uh, the best option is. There are a lot of other um, fields of medicine that do one of these procedures but they don't but none of them do all three like vascular surgeons. So I think the key is to find a vascular surgeon who's comfortable doing all three of these things, talking to that person and kind of weighing the risks and the benefits of each um, and then coming up with a decision then.